Ryan, this has been just kind of a, a crazy stretch of fights for you, man. One round fights, I mean, action pack, some going your way, not the others. What, what have you made of this kind of last little run of fights? <sighs> that shit is for the birds, man. I like winning. I like winning. So we're going to take our time and do it right. When you look back on those, do you feel like that's – that you haven't been patient enough? Has that been the problem, that you, that you need to slow down a little bit, I guess, not get into these action-packed one-round fights? I have to get out of my way. That's interesting. Is it a mental approach, like, going into the fight? Is it the moment of the fight? Like, where do you think you get in your own way? In life. Interesting. Are we talking about outside of the cage as well? All of this is a part of my life, so generally speaking, in life, just had to get in my way. It, it, when you look at fights, when they happen that fast, I mean, can you take lessons out of them other than your own approach, or is it just like, you know, this is just the game we play and we're big, strong dudes and people get clipped? There's lessons in everything, and my lesson that I've learned, and I had to learn it seven times now, is to get out of my fucking way. Uh, supposed to happen in uh, February, didn't. Uh, I guess, can you detail us what happened, why they need to reschedule? I could, but I'm not. But um, I appreciate that he waited. Is it a matchup that you wanted to keep together? Was there something about it you liked, or did it matter to you? It really doesn't matter, but I appreciate that he waited for me. That was a lot of people wouldn't do that. Yeah. That's cool. uh, knowing he did that nice thing for you. When you face off, he's probably going to come try to get in your face and intimidate you and all that. I mean, do you, when you're getting ready for him, do you have to prepare for that stuff that comes along with it? That won't change what happened Saturday. So it really doesn't matter to me what anybody does. As long as I don't get touched, I don't care. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, as silly as it may sound, like, do you have to be, like, mentally ready on Friday at the face-offs? Yeah, I don't care. Like I said, as long as I don't get touched, we're good. How are you looking at this fight? I mean, is it, you know, kind of a, a, a must win for you? Is it, you know, just another fight, just another matchup? Or is this, like, a really important moment in your career? Any moment can be looked at as, like, important, you know. The last one was important. Uh, in my mind, it was a must win. I didn't win. Didn't get it done, it sucks. But, like I said, I had to get out of my way. In a weird way, like if you go out there and win this fight in 30 seconds, are you going to feel like you did something wrong because you're trying to be more patient and try to let it play out? Or you just go, well, hell, we won, we're good to go? My job, first and foremost, is to provide for my family. So winning at any cost is a win. The last thing for me, I guess, how do you see this fight playing out? I mean, it sounds like you're trying to get away from this hecticness, but he's a guy that induces that kind of hecticness. So how do you see this fight playing out? It's hard for me to say because we don't know how he's going to come. I mean, film can show you anything. You can look at film on me, and you can think you see something, and I can change it. So I give everybody else that benefit of the doubt, which is why I don't care to watch film. Do people uh, around you watch film to give you the lessons, or do you just tell everyone, like, look, it's about me, not about anyone else? Truthfully, I can't control what people do. I, I continually say it's about me, about no one else. They're going to do what they want to do, and that's cool. Um, I don't mind it, you know, and I just don't care. But we have a plan, and I trust my people. So when they do watch and they do see something, they know what they're looking for. It's a way you can watch film and not get stuck on one thing is it's a way yeah you, you mentioned about like you gotta get, gotta get out of your way and i don't know if you particularly feel like sharing this but is there something specific you have to do is it a mindset is it an action that you have to do to be like okay this is me getting out of my way i'm not gonna ask because i just have to get out of my way as we'll discuss that saturday right now my focus is fight Right. Um, you know, there's this bill in the Superman versus Hulk. Um, is, it, is that kind of entertaining I watched, you? I watched Death Battle. My son made me watch it like years ago, so I already know. 
<laughs> I already know. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I didn't answer your question because I had already, but I seen Death Battle. <laughs> I like the way that turned out. <laughs> um, and then finally for me, man, um, you know, I, I know you're not looking past your opponent, but you know, there's a, there's a Texas card coming up in June. If everything goes on, goes well this weekend, do you want to hop on that with your teammates? Um, honestly, I, I'm not going to disrespect this man by looking that far forward. Uh, right now we're here, we get to Saturday and then after that, we'll take care of the rest. Thank you.